Hey, what's up, guys? PC Geekish here, and um, today I'm gonna show you guys a footage and a gameplay of um, how to fix Counter Strike Global Offensive crash. Like when you crash while you're loading up on the map, or you crash during in game, but mostly this is for loading up on the map. So, let's get on to it. So, right now, um, the commentary isn't really synchronized with the gameplay, but I don't know who the heck ever cares. I don't really mind. I'm just narrating the my vocals right now so I'm just gonna have to talk you through it and I'm also gonna show you a short footage and you know what should be done and how it's done so the most important thing is you wanna go to the settings like you, um, you press options and then you go straight towards um, video settings and you wanna make sure shaders are low, global um, global shading is low you know, anti-aliasing is two times two is basically two times okay so, um, next thing is you want to type in is, I think it's CL, hold on, let me check real quick. Um, this is to help you load up quick without even crashing, so let me see. It's CL underscore disable HTML mod MOTD1, which I'm going to put in the slide in the moment. So, which means it just disables every single advertisement that just, like, bothers your Counter Strike to load because basically it just demands more RAM and memory usage, which means it causes it to crash because the computer cannot handle it that much. So it decides to, the program cannot respond, and part of it's just, you know, gone. So, but before you want to do all that stuff, you might want to also verify your cache, cache for the game, just to ensure that nothing's missing or not any files not broken. Uh, once you do that and it's still not working, then yeah, go on with the procedures I gave you. Uh, type in the CL, the stable HTML MOTD1. Make sure you have a space and put a 1 in it. And also lower all the settings, because that always works to me. Because that, you know, works for me. Then if it works for me, why can't it work for you? I don't get it. So anyways, <laughs> I mean like, it's pretty, you know, Counter-Strike Global Offense has some little turndowns when it comes to, um memory usage but you know when you lower down all the settings <laughs> literally literally all the settings <laughs> you're gonna see very very minor differences but a major change for your computer okay <laughs> so y your eyes may not see the difference between the graphics after you lowering all of the um all of the options <laughs> but your computer does because obviously less memory usage and less ram usage of course because that's the most important that that's that's the key of what keeps your program running. If it goes too much, it basically, you know, tells the uh, the computer just tells the program to automatically shut down. And yeah, it can't render anymore and it just shuts off. So yeah, that's the most important thing you want to look out about. So, I mean, the next thing is, um, um, how should I say this? Uh, I'm missing one thing right now. I know I'm missing something. It's either, um... Uh, what you call? Hold on, guys. My mind's going blank. It's pretty much one of the, um, ways of how you run the program. Like, let's say, um, if it still doesn't work, you can make this, um, your own shortcut. Let's say with the auto.exe thing, but... That'll be pretty complicated if you don't know how to create a shortcut that, um relocates to steam i mean like it does work in some cases and it does not i mean like to me my solution which is just lowering all the settings and typing in cl underscore to see html motd in the console works better and for you guys who doesn't know how to open the console well looks like you're screwed you just have to go to um options and go to um game settings and, and eventually it says developer console he says no so that's the default of course so you want to put it to yes and um yeah pretty much that's all i need to cover yeah for the crash problems but also if you're trying to make the shortcut it's also pretty complicated i mean like i wouldn't suggest doing that because um the technique is pretty much you know or should i say I mean, like, not only if you lower down all the settings, it also improves your gameplay by increasing the frames per second, which is your FPS. 
if you have fraps you can tell what's your fps you know usually mine runs at 80 or 90 and you know it runs pretty smooth if you lower the settings and it helps also your computer like if your game's like all you know crashy and like all laggy that tells you that you know your computer is using up too much memory usage or ram so yeah your frame rates per second can really tell if your computer is going to run the program or not because if it's running at like 20 or 10 or 30 you're, you are you got to fix that program right there like download maybe texture pack maybe lower down all the settings or even you know buy more memory sticks then it'll help you improve your gameplay you know it's either use money or um control your settings because if it doesn't have settings it looks like you have to spend a bit of a little bit of cash just to you know fix that problem so anyways i think that's all i need to cover Start, sorry for a little bit of that blank minded part uh, i just hope that this tutorial helps you guys and uh, this has been your boy piece of geekish peacing out